On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you hate your bra? If you're like most women, you're probably thinking at least an 11, right? It doesn't have to be that way, ladies. Correct these bra mistakes you're probably making, and before you know it, you'll be demanding... I want a bra! bra, bra, bra. The dreaded measure. Let's just start with the obvious here. Size totally matters, especially when we're talking about bras. So finding your size shouldn't be a guessing game. Unfortunately, most women aren't wearing the bra size that fits them best. In fact, one study published in the journal Chiropractic and Osteopathy found that about 80% of women were wearing the wrong size bra, with the vast majority of those women wearing bras that are too small. If you spend all day tugging on your bra or dread putting it on in the first place, there's a good chance it's the wrong size. It's pretty miraculous how much better a bra feels when it actually fits, so get a professional measurement the next time you're out shopping. Wrong choice. Those demi bras are cute, but they're not going to do the job for a gal with a larger bust. It stands to reason that larger breasts require larger, fuller cups to keep the girls in line. But there's more to it than that. One expert told Women's Health, there are seven different types of breasts. Your natural shape has a lot to do with what kind of bra will fit and look best on you. For example, women with side-set breasts need a bra that will bring them together, and women with teardrop breasts need something with a little extra lift. Hooked on tightness. If you're buying a bra you fasten on the tightest hooks, you're probably buying too big of a band. Bra fitting specialist Bobby Smith told the Huffington Post, you should actually purchase a bra that fits on the loosest hooks when you buy it, because you'll need to tighten it up later. She says, a bra is going to stretch about three inches in its lifetime. That's when you go to the next set of hooks. Got strap adjusters? There is absolutely no need to spend all day moving your bra strap back up your arm. Instead, make sure you're adjusting your straps every time you put your bra on. Lingerie designer Mariana Hernandez told Prevention that washing and wearing your bras causes the straps to loosen, so they need to be tightened frequently. It also may be a sign your bra is too big or that it's worn out and ready to be replaced. Your wonky band Take a look at the back of your bra in a mirror. Does the strap run in a straight line across your back or is it arching up toward your neck? If it's not a straight line all the way around, it probably doesn't fit. Lingerie fit and style expert Jenny Altman told Women's Health, a bra band that rides up in the back is either too big or needs to be closed using a tighter hook. Style rut One bra style doesn't fit every need. That's according to Elizabeth Dale, author of The Bra Zone. She told Today that every woman should have several different styles of bras, as many as nine, depending on your wardrobe. So you always have the right fabric and cut to seamlessly complement your outfit of choice. One size does not fit all. You accept that size fluctuates with the rest of your clothes according to fit and brand. It's time to believe that to be true with bras as well. Lingerie expert Jenny Altman told Women's Health that not all bras or their sizes are created equal. She says, think of it like jeans. You might be a size 28 in boyfriend jeans, but you may need a bigger size in skinny jeans. You'll likely need to do the same size adjusting when you swap bra styles. The T-shirt test. Unless you're planning on walking around in just your bra all day, you're going to need to know what a bra looks like under your clothes before you buy it. Bra fit specialist Kaylin Richardson thinks every woman should bring a t-shirt when she tries on bras. She told Cosmopolitan, they might think a bra looks great, but then they put a t-shirt on over the top and realize it actually isn't giving them the shape they want. Or they might feel so-so about a bra and then put the t-shirt on and realize it's perfect. Two days too much. It's not a big deal to wear your bra more than once before you wash it. Most women probably do it, whether they admit it or not, but it is a big deal to wear it two days in a row. Bobby Smith told the Huffington Post, letting a bra rest at least one day in between wear will help the elastic regain its strength. When you're wearing it two days in a row, it's like pulling on a muscle. It's going to strain it and it won't be able to snap back. Time to update. Bras are expensive, so we try to make them last for a long time, probably longer than we should. Lexi Sachs, a textiles product analyst, told Good Housekeeping that you should be ditching your bras if they've lost their shape or elasticity, are too small, or just plain uncomfortable. Sachs says the lifetime of most bras is 6 to 12 months, but she added that you can stretch that time by rotating your bras and leaving them between wears. Stack Attack Folding your bras may be the easiest way to get them to fit in your drawer, but it's also a good way to wear them out faster. Lingerie designer Elodie Georges told The Huffington Post, Bras should be stacked inside one another, never twisted with one cup inside the other. This will distort the shape of the bra, particularly foam cups, that will tend to crease and dimple and also increase the chance of wires being displaced. Squeaky Clean It's so easy to throw that bra in the washing machine and call it a day, right? But according to lingerie expert Claire Chambers, that's not a great choice if you want that bra to last very long. She told Harper's Bazaar that, in most cases, your bra should always be hand-washed. 
Hand washing sounds tedious, but it's actually pretty easy. Combine your similarly colored delicates in a sink of warm water and add a delicate wash that's specially formulated for lingerie. Swish around a few times, gently squeeze, and then lay flat to dry. Chamber explained that if you simply must wash your bras in the washing machine, you should use the gentle cycle. Utilize the lingerie bag, warm water, specialized lingerie detergent, and never use the dryer. She says, you should always lay your lingerie flat to avoid stretching out the band or straps. But if you do dry your bra, just keep calm. Times do I have to tell you, you don't put a bra in a dryer. It warps. It, please, it's a bra. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.